Hello everybody, welcome back. Here today to talk to you about an update to the Map Enhancement mod. Now for those of you who are not familiar with the Map Enhancement mod, what it does is allows you to replace the default Bing maps that we find in Microsoft Flight Simulator with a different set of maps. And there are a couple different options available. The main ones that people are interested in are the Google Maps mod and the Bing Maps mod. Google is fine. There are some issues potentially with Google. Google will sometimes kick people out if they've been accessing the Google Maps for an extended period of time. I also happen to think that the Bing Maps are actually better. The updated Bing Maps are actually better than the updated Google Maps. But in any event, you can use this mod to change your maps in the sim. Now this right here is a view of the current Bing maps and here when we take off you'll see a view of the new updated maps and you can see they look quite different quite a bit more realistic there are some downsides to using the maps mod one of which the primary one is that the maps that Asobo uses in Microsoft Flight Simulator are processed they are processed by artificial intelligence to remove clouds that sometimes are superimposed over top of the maps when the maps are taken by satellite. So sometimes when you're using the maps mod, you will see clouds over top of the ground, superimposed on the ground. It's one downside of it, but the visual improvement is absolutely marked. We're going to go through here some static images and we'll see the current map and then coming up here in a second, we will see the updated replaced map. And you can see it just looks, the, the coloring is a lot more realistic. You can see the road farm fields and it just looks fantastic. This is an area out in Long Island. And again, you can see it looks a lot more realistic. Even the houses and the buildings look a lot more realistic in the map enhancement mod. Now the map mod is very easy to install it's very easy to use there are some common issues that people have that we will talk about but the latest update has brought some really interesting changes and let's go over them this is the github page here this is where you'll get the map enhancement mod if you don't already have it as you can see we're now on version 8.0.6 so you can see with version 8.0.5 there was a couple of new features one of which is you can toggle the high LOD in the home page, and we'll see that shortly when we open the mod. Another is they added an option to turn on or off the high LOD automatically based on altitude to save bandwidth. Now this makes a tremendous amount of sense because the, when you're very, very high, say you're flying at flight level 360, you don't really see the detail on the ground that much. So the High LOD maps use four times as much data as the regular maps. So there's no need to be streaming that amount of data and taking up so much bandwidth when you're not really seeing the difference in the detail on the ground. And this is particularly important for people who have data limits on their internet plans. The last feature is leave mode, which is when you're away, you can turn on the leave mode and the MOD will automatically switch to default maps and stop the image server. And then when you come back, you can switch it back to whichever previous map you were using. So what this means is, let's say you're doing a longer flight in the 777, maybe a six hour flight, you take off, get the airplane to cruise altitude and go and mow the lawn. Well, when you go and mow the lawn, you can turn on leave mode and that will switch the maps back to the stock maps which is going to save you the data like we talked about earlier. And when you come back to return to resume your flight, just turn leave mode off and you automatically switch back to the maps that we were using. So these are really neat features and there's a couple bug fixes as you can see. I will put the link to this page in the description of the video and you can come here and get the latest version of the map enhancement mod. So if you don't have the map mod, you just come here, double click on the executable save the file to your PC, open the location where you saved the executable, and then just run the executable. I already have it installed, so I don't have to do this. Another thing worth noting is that you do have to run this as admin in order for it to work correctly. 
If you already have the Map Enhancement mod, just click on the icon to start the program. It's going to tell you that there's a new version downloading in the background, but the easiest way to do it is to come over here to the down arrow, click on that, click on Check for Updates. It's going to tell you there's a new version available. Click on Download and Update. It's going to download the program in the background, and once that's ready to be applied, this will highlight. Click on Restart and Apply Update. Click on Install. And it may install this program from Microsoft if your PC needs that. And once it's done, just click Finish. And we now have version 8.0.6.0. So now here in the mod itself, just come down here to Settings. And we can see the new settings. There's Enable High LOD, which we know. And again, that takes four times the data as is used when this is not enabled. So this does use quite a bit more data. But now we have this option, only enable high LOD when below the altitude. And then you can select the altitude over here. 10,000 seems like a pretty good compromise. I'm gonna leave it there at that stock value, that default value. Now we come here to the main page, click on start. And then you can see here, we now have leave mode. So let's say again, like you're flying along, doing a long flight in the 777 or 737 or whatever plane you wanna be flying and you want to take some time away from the sim, but you don't want to use all the data that you would normally use if you were using this program, just click here and enable leave mode. Go do whatever it is that you want to do. When you come back, just remember to uncheck leave mode, and you'll go back to whichever map selection you have. Again, I use the latest Bing maps. These, to me, are the best. There are Google maps. There are some other maps that you can use this ArcGIS map and there are also these pro options which are subscription based you have to pay a fee I've heard people say that the Google Maps are absolutely fantastic the, the Google Pro Maps I'm perfectly happy with the Bing latest version so that's what I use so now that you've got this running you just go into the sim and you've got the latest Bing Maps the one thing to remember when you close out of the sim you're done just be sure to click stop before you close this program. So that's the latest version of the map enhancement mod. And here we're going to see quickly, this is the current Bing map. And we'll see here in a second, the updated map. And you can just see how much more realistic it looks. It's really fantastic. So I'll put a link in the description to the previous videos I did on this in case you have any questions. One other last note is that my antivirus program was pretty aggressive in trying to prevent this update from happening so I actually had to pause my protection so if you have any issues with installing the update like I did you may have to do that I did it without any problems I don't have any concerns about using this mod if you do have security concerns about turning off your security software in order to install this then simply don't do it that's perfectly fine i hope you guys are doing well if you have any questions please don't hesitate to put them in the comments and i hope everybody's having a great day